So in this video, we will see um, how this was made. However, before we get there, I just want to briefly give you a recap. So I made my own 3D printed boat. Instead of using a off-the-shelf uh, remote controller, I decided to uh, design and build it myself based on an ESP32. And today I just want to give you a brief uh, video of the, the build process. I have finished the controller here. And the next step would be to just file down the different openings here so that all of my electronics can fit in now. Yeah, let's get started. So now that we have inserted all of the components, it is going to be time to connect these up with our microcontroller. So just to recap, we have here our left joystick, right joystick, then our rotary encoder. So here and here, and then we have three on and off switches and our OLED display. And if we look at the back, it looks spacious from the beginning, but it was a little bit of a tight fit. So we have here our joysticks, here our rotary encoder knobs, and then the on-off switches, and then our, our OLED display. And this will be connected with our ESP microcontroller. So I have a small board here, and then that's going to be going to fit on here just like so. And then we're going to have to have lots of wires, um, which will then all have to be sorted directly. And then later on, I'll then still print another 3D layer to then close off this, this controller. And yeah, then on the next step, we will then make the, the receiver inside of the boat. So from the design aspect, I tried to sort of make like a pixelated Minecraft themed controller. And it did, from the looks, it is actually okay. But from the feeling, unfortunately, uh, these two sort of hand pieces are a little bit too too small. So it's actually not that comfortable, but yeah, who cares for now? So yeah, let's get started with this ordering. So after some soldering, or actually quite a lot of soldering, I have uh, connected all of the internal wiring now. And the next step will be to slowly connect it to the, the microcontroller and then make sure that I don't make any mistakes connecting it to the wrong pin. So I'll probably start with the, the OLED and then just go step by step. So now I've finished soldering all of the wires to my uh, microcontroller. So basically each of these different parts has now a connection with one of the pins. And then if we power this up over via the, the USB interface, and then we can already read it out. So we can just use the regular USB cable for this. I have a small hole in here where we can feed it through. Originally I had planned to do internal, um, have an internal battery, but yeah, there just wasn't enough space. Fiddle that in here, then it's it's now powered up, and then we can go over to the other side, and then we can see we already have a reading on the display. So now with the close-up, you can see the different readings. So we have our three switches on the top, which we can turn on and off. Then we have our rotary knob. 
And then we have our left joystick for acceleration and our right joystick for left and right. And then finally we can just put in on our rear cover, which I printed just the other day by Ringotan. And it also has here some opening so that the heat can dissipate from the, from the microcontroller. And then that's our controller. And then the counterpart, the receiver. So this is again ESP32. Um, and we have in here two outputs. One output is for the server motor to control the boat and the other one is for the electronic speed controller. And then we have one input. This goes into the, the battery. Then we can measure the voltage and make sure that we don't get a too low voltage on our uh, LiPo battery. I still plan to put in two LEDs here in case um, just to have like a check check light and then we can maybe encode something on there. And I'll later on still print a, a cover for this. And then we have our receiver box. Yeah, yeah.